Right now, parts of our area are simply devastated following Tuesday's deadly flash flooding. This morning marks day three of the cleanup since the record rainfall and people are still trying to get themselves back on their feet. Our Sydney Stallworth is live in St. Charles for us this morning with how people affected by the floods are now seeking help. Sydney. Yeah, Rennie, something is going to be happening today for those people. They're calling it a flood recovery open house. It's happening right here later this e evening. The city of St. Charles is going to be having representatives from different city departments here to answer questions for residents who've been affected by Tuesday's flash floods. I have the information coming up for you on your screen. The open house is going to be tonight from 4 to 7 here at Fire Station 4. The address is right there for you on the screen. St. Charles was hit hard by Tuesday's storms. Water quickly filled the streets. First responders had to make rescues using boats as people were trapped by the quickly rising water. We have some images that we captured right there. A site not so different though from many areas around the by state since Tuesday morning. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe toured dam damage in St. Louis City and St. Peter's yesterday. He says he knows people want to know what's next, but there's still a lot to assess. Uh, I've been through floods personally and so I know this is something that uh, is a life changer and devastating to many people. Everybody just wants an answer as fast as they can get it. You know, the lieutenant governor signed an executive order declaring a state of emergency on Tuesday, and he says everything is in place to apply for FEMA funds, but he does say that he expects the damage will actually exceed the funding threshold um, that's allowed for the state to receive. Now, we've seen that the need is great. We've seen it firsthand, and a lot of people have had to abandon their homes and enter shelters. I'll tell you the latest location Red Cross has moved flood victims to in the next half hour, but for now reporting live in St. Charles, Sydney Stallworth five on your side. Thank you, Sydney.